Right now moving up on their inside and they've drawn clear of Bermuda Boy. So the race is on as they swing out of the back straight. Moscow Chance are taken on either side by Invisible Man and out now who just about races to the front at the apex of the bend. Moscow Chance has copped his head for the umpteenth time during the race and he's not going to go with the front pair who are racing several lengths clear of him as they approach the entrance to the straight. So out now an Invisible Man both travelling well under their respective riders out now is just nosed on by about a half a length as they come over the fourth last out now reach for it invisible man having to be pumped along on the outside swallows delight sustainability of pulling up when tailed off as the front pair jump three out out now was out jumped by invisible man but david maxwell's getting down to work to forgotten man the latest one to pull up as they come down towards two from home and something's gone amiss with invisible man and feedbacks has pulled him up very quickly leaving out now a long way clear of Moscow Chancer. Bermuda Boys inherited third out now is a long way clear as he comes into the wings of the last the rider gritting his teeth he didn't see a stride at all and he landed in a real heat but he's so far in front of Moscow Chancer who's very tired that it won't make much difference the leader is virtually coming to a standstill on the run-in and David Maxwell's going to have to really keep it going the other two are getting in each other's way Bermuda Boys closing in out now has pulled himself up and he's been collared in the final 20 yards yards by Bermuda Boy and Kieran Gethings has pulled it out the five for the Steve Fluke team. I think Moscow Chance are also got passed out now and they were the only three to finish. Remarkable. Fourth time looking in this race for Bermuda Boy in what was quite a dramatic affair. Kieran Gethings on board for Steve Fluke. This horse has tried before to win this race three times and on the fourth attempt he's managed to win it at 28 to 1. In the boy, although he, he gets a bump from Moscow Chancer, or they bump each other, he's got the impetus behind him. He has and he was a, a short price in this race three years ago and two years ago and got beaten and now 28 to 1 he's won it and I should imagine even, even the connections will be absolutely astonished about that. It, one thing you say is that Kieran Geth is the, the rider. He's a, a proper prospect. Absolutely, absolutely. A number of these pulled up. Sustainability, the Forgotten Man, Swallow's Delight, all uh, not finishing the race. Uh, yeah, well, the Forgotten Man, man made that horrible blunder at the water, and I think that did for him. Sustainability looked for all the world as if he wants to go the other way around. Yeah, left-handed rather than right. The Forgotten Man, yes, he made a mistake, and Alex Edwards at the water, and Alex Edwards lost his iron for a while. At Shoot Investment, of course, he went at the first with Sam Painting, and these is a close-up of the remarkable extraordinary closing stages with uh, David Maxwell trying to keep that man motivated but the horse is pulling himself up to a walk and it isn't even as if he's motivated by the sound or the charge no. the horse is going past him not at all it's uh, I'm sure the, the, all sorts of uh, interesting responses to that race. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm looking forward to all the various debriefs here, but it is fourth time lucky for Bermuda Boy. At the fourth attempt, he has won this trophy hunter.